Um, I, I think it was a, uh, Pyramithra, maybe. Maybe it, may, it was one of the two, but I'll just say Byleth versus uh, Min Min sucks. I hate it. I hate it. It's so hard to approach because you're so slow. But anyways, here we go. Smashville, game one. All right, throwing out those arms, but here's a back air and another, and it's going to keep comboing. Hey, taking what do you advantage do? of that opening right now. Oh, man. All right. Yep. It's not allowing any room here at all. Yep. Um, all right, but you do have to be careful when you're getting hit as Pikachu because if you get anywhere close to that blast zone, you can get deleted. Great use of that up special to get him closer there. He's, he's looking to kind of smother him again. Yeah, back air is one of Pikachu's best moves, and I think this is a great matchup for it. If you take one of those arms to your shield, you can just do a rising back air out of shield, get a combo started, get stage control, set something up off stage. A lot of options for Pikachu in that scenario. All right, trying to catch with the forward air, throwing on the T-Joel. Oh, my goodness, and the up special is actually saving H4 yeah, from getting hit by the arm. It's kind of one of, like, the defining factors in this matchup, it seems like. Like, Pikachu can throw out all these things, and all of a sudden, nothing hit, but I'll just up to you. And then all of a sudden, resets the situation. All right. Yeah, definitely using up special quite a bit here. Yeah. And I will say one of the hardest things about playing Pikachu, since we were mentioning how difficult it can be to execute properly, mm -hmm. um, is the recovery angles. You know, you have a really tight window to get those angles in. H4 doing such a great job. I always enjoy watching the angles he chooses and the areas of the stage he's able to access because of some of those difficult angles. Right now, it, it, it's like dead even right now yeah. in terms of percent. It's who is going to take that first stock here? Oh, almost H4? Not quite yet, though. I think he was hoping for the drag down there as opposed to like the the nair that sent him up. That would have been an easy kill. Oh, oh my goodness! Went unfortunately, a little too deep. Like I was saying, man, those angles can be really tough. Pikachu actually has this angle where on your controller you angle it basically all the way up, but just one notch to the left, or like a half notch to the left, or half notch to the right, to get P access to Pikachu's highest uh, up B angle that it can do to, to recover like, from like the Like, how, how many angles are there for Pikachu? Oh, there's so many. Is it like 16? You know, I don't I don't know, but um, a, I think 16 would make sense. Okay. Yeah. You have the four Cardinal, then the other four, and then, and then double that. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Justice. Yeah, Justice doing a really Man. good job here. Able to get that megawatt to hit here. Has to deal with these T jolts trying to. Oh, interesting. I thought he was going to mix up with a grab there, but he didn't. That, that's just where my, my mind was going at the time. Yeah. Um, Min Min does, I, if I'm not mistaken, have the slowest grab in the game. It's either Min Min or Samus. So you do have to be pretty sure it's going to yeah. connect. Otherwise, you're going to get punished. But right now, at, at 13%, the way Justice is playing neutral, he can afford to take a couple of risks. But, uh, of course, I say that Pikachu might just convert the next hit into a kill. But Okay. Uh, and another Nair from the Megawatt would kill, but having that powered up laser, I think, helped out. I don't know if it was still powered up by then. It might have just went away, but it was still enough to kill. Exactly. All right. Up here to forward air. Okay. Up here off the ledge. Okay. Switching in the Ram Ram. Yeah, okay. probably going for one of those two frames or just trying to cover a little bit more. Maybe like a cover cover a jump in from a distance. Well, he switched, to, switch, switched back to the Megawatt like really fast afterwards. So maybe it was just a very like, you know, in that scenario for a little bit that he thought that the Ram Ram was going to have better use. That that, that Min Min uh, Megawatt in air, man, it can, be, it can be a problem for a character like Pikachu. Pikachu does not like trading. Oh, for sure. Uh, yeah, see, he switched to the Ram Ram here. I'm surprised, like, I'm wondering why that is. Maybe he's hoping for a quicker option to throw out if H4 is trying to trade with him. Yeah. See, he switches it to it again. Oh, he's actually trying to use, you know, the larger uh, hitbox from it. Like, it covers a little bit more of, like, you know, height than you would say, like, Megawatt. And I'm going to be honest, I'm... I'm not totally ignorant to... to oh, my goodness. My goodness. The tether cancel into that? That was saucy. That was actually like you, pretty you saucy. You can even see the... Like... Oh, my... Yeah, that was... That was clean. That, that was super clean. That was super clean. Man, Justice. Chill out, man. Yeah.
Oh, really? Okay. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I, I'm down. I'm down to be um, on the mic for a bit. So tell tell Dream Boys to to plan on taking over for me okay. at, at some point because I'm gonna drive home tonight. And I'm, oh. Yeah. By, by the way, shout outs to Draymond for driving out here all the way oh, from man. Eugene to be on comms. Well, bro, I was so excited to be teamed up with you. Like, for Honestly? real. Honestly? Yeah, for real. Uh, hopefully, we sure. can uh, do something at, like, uh, Eugene Bound. Um, I I've been meeting to reach out to Enjoy. Maybe something at, like, uh, you know, Col Coliseum? Oh, that, that's yeah. in the air, but oh, uh, I'll definitely ask I'd vouch. About it. I'd vouch for you. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's, a, it's an honor to, to come and commentate at these events. I know so many people want to do it, so, we, you know, we always appreciate the opportunity. But with that said, what adjustments is H4 going to make? You know, it's, it's crazy. If he didn't have that SD, the whole momentum, the whole vibe of that match changed after that SD when he had the kill and then didn't make it back to stage. All of a sudden, they're both on the second stock and just, just went on his run. So we'll see if H4 can play a little bit cleaner right here. Okay, and already we're seeing a little bit of a back and forth. This, this is just kind of how it's been going. They they yeah. both have their kind of like, okay, if I get an opening, I can do this. For Justice, more of the part is just like, can I box him out? And that's, and that's what Justice has been doing. That's what, pretty much what he did the entire second and third stock of game one. And, man, H4 having a little bit of a struggle getting in. He's getting that initial combo, but then as soon as he gets that initial combo, it's almost like not much else is happening. But we will see. Oh, he thought the low recovery. Now you're in a tough position. You can catch that charged up megawatt, and you get absolutely destroyed. And it's hovering out there for a bit. That's one of the advantages of megawatt. It hits hard, and it's out for a while. Yeah, man. Um, it's, it's chunky, right? It is a chunky hitbox. Oh, yeah, you might as well just go for that hit. I don't think Justice was going to be able to make it back. I don't that. think so either, so it might have been unnecessary damage, but if you're not sure about the jump, or it's better to, it's better to be sure than, than to let him recover, right? Yeah. Yeah, you, you got to take advantage. When someone's off stage like that, you got to secure the deal. you got to secure the stock. You can't just be letting people recover. So I don't blame him, but he did take an unnecessary hit because he was not going to recover. Okay, able to you know, get that get up attack, switch you to the megawatt there. Just going for the one hits, doesn't want to double up there because that's definitely when Pikachu is able to get in, is that yeah. once he's out of resources like that. Yeah, and Mimin just keeps throwing out these these big hit boxes. And H4 is struggling against them. I'm not sure what to think about this because, like I said, I thought Pikachu won this matchup pretty solid, but Just is just playing so well right here. And Pikachu struggling to scrap. Okay, right now has that charged up laser good <laughs> kind of dodging yeah. from H4 here, really avoiding everything. And, and Justice kind of too, in the sense, like not getting hit by much. He's doing a lot of uh, jump one way, then jump the other way, mixing in some air dodges, being very difficult to hit, but that dr thunder is going to drag down. Nothing, nothing will come from it, but still P uh, H4 pushing his advantage right here. He needs to get the stock soon. Oh, good, good catch attacker. there with the back air. Probably setting up for another one. Interesting using the t -Zell backing up. Knew that Justice wasn't going to be able to recover. Well played, well played. All right, last stock scenario. This is even. All right. He's got. He's kind of got to get a read for Justice's defensive habits. All what right. a great grab read there. But yeah. unfortunately, just with how this game works, is that he didn't hit the window exactly. where it was active. Exactly. Okay, good, good get up shield. All right, takes a dash attack. Right. Okay, he's going for a lot of grabs here. He, he feels like that might be the answer. Yeah. Um, well, as I mean, as you can see, Pikachu has got to respect a lot of these Miniman's options. So basically no option but to shield. It's not like Pikachu has that much range. Oh, that's, is that going to be that's enough? That's godlike. Oh, oh it sends the wrong way. Like sometimes that just happens. Oh, it's my goodness. Pichu, Pichu would have killed there. Just Because Pichu? Pichu always sends forward or the okay. way it's facing. Which is actually one of the, the few downsides to Pikachu as opposed to uh, the other mouse. Is that going to be enough? Oh, not quite yet, but both players at a high percent. If H4 is able to escape this pressure that Justice is putting on, ooh, especially being on that like platform, it's Man, looking that so deadly. Nair, that Mega Want Nair, is this death? No, that's not death. But he also has powered up. Uh, Dragon Beam if he needs it or whatever that's called. I can't think of it. It's like a laser. Yeah. 
There it is. All right. So H4 got a little bit of a, of a hill to climb if he's going to get back in this. He's down 0-2, and Just is playing unbelievably right now, just dancing in neutral, saying, H4, will you have this dance? And uh, H4 not able to keep up, I guess. Um, I don't like know, you, man. you were pretty convinced that this was going to be more in H4's favor. I was. I was. But, uh, you know, I thought H4 was going to do well, but Just has pulled out the WD-40 and is, is slippery, <laughs> man. He's slick. Oh, man. Like, there, there are solid, like, good take, uh, 10 to 15 second chunks where they're not even touching each other. They're just trying. Exactly. Throwing out everything that they have, and nothing's connected. Yeah, Justice's defensive gameplay is very good. He's, he's tough to hit. And as, as a Minmin player, I think that's important because, like I was saying, Minmin's disadvantage is bad, in my opinion. And you want to avoid those scenarios when you're off stage. So minimizing your hits is a good strat. And we'll see we'll see what happens here. H4 has got to find a way to secure these I early think that's stocks. It. I think that is too. Oh, he made sure yeah. that was it. And that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do in this matchup. Pikachu, obviously, you're not going to get that every stock, but you need to find something like that every game. Okay, and right now it's just H4 carrying I love it. across I stage. I love it. Those Pika combos are pretty to watch when they when they work. Like, right. is this, this just like H4 coming back for vengeance? Yeah, he's mad. Oh. I saw him shake his head. Oh! Like, th this is definitely a different H4 from these yeah. last two games. And down throw back air. And is he going to find the next back air? Oh, he's trying for it. Good good hitbox usage right there by, by Justice to avoid losing a stock. Ooh. And we've seen him again Ooh. and again kind of switch that Ram Ram, but good call out there from H4 with that up smash, giving him a two stock lead. Not far from uh, taking this next game here if Justice can even do anything about it. Exactly. H4 came out and said, I'm different this time. All right, up tilt. Tries to get the drag down there. Does get the drag down there into the grab. Back air. Oh, oh, that's death. And, and you know what? If, if you're Justice, I'm sure that was a misinput, but you can live with it. Get a reset. Reset the, the whole game and, you know, take your time. Like, like I, I guess it could have been a misinput. A part of me wants to say that he was going to do that towards ledge. Yeah. But yeah. It just, he was just facing the wrong way. Yeah, I think that's what it was. And um, small battlefield is obviously one of the smaller stages you can go to. He's going to take him to PS2. I think that's a great choice for the way that Justice is playing. He's, you know, using this movement. He's using his jumps. He's using the platforms. I think that's going to be a lot more beneficial having that extra space as compared to a more condensed small battlefield. All right, good catch there with Megawatt. Yeah. Definitely different from Ooh. the last game we saw. Yeah. Um, yeah, solid start for Justice. Already 32%, only 3% on him. All right, never mind. Pikachu doesn't have the craziest damage output. And the, the switch to the Libre skin here for, from H4. Yeah. Man, if he pulls off this reverse 3-0, I think this place goes crazy. Okay, great parry. But let's not look ahead too far. Parries ju just again, but Justice still doing a good job, you know, getting, getting that damage. Yeah, Justice holding stage control, but the whiff on the dash attack gets punished with another dash attack from Pika. Now Justice in a tough position here. What's the move? Good delay from the recovery. Oh, calls out the jump for the early stock. And now Justice in prime position to maybe not even let this go to the to the game five. Good patience trying to catch there with the megawatt. Oh, but gets mixed up there by the up special. All right. Justice throwing out from arms. Gets an up smash in the combo. All right. Up B, up air. Covers the landing with another up air. Oh, try oh tries to the oh. Watch out for that powered up laser. A little bit of a uh, trade there. Oh, man, that dragon. That would have killed. Yeah, great angle by, by H4 on that up B. Right now, H4 really needs to take the stock. He does. He's got to find a way to do it. Just in such a good position right now, was trying to catch with that nair there, try to go for the grab, gets caught by the dash attack. H4 trying to close out the stock, but actually gets hit by the megawatt. 
Tries to use the reflector there from the up smash. Uh, 100. Nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah, very nice use of Thunder right there. And, I mean, you guys can just see Pikachu's getting all these hits, even with, you know, a lot of rage and still having a hard time killing. Had to go off stage and get the Thunder drag down to make it work. But... Honestly, Man. I didn't think about the down special utility like that. Like, in most situations, I feel like it kind of, like, drags it into itself. But actually getting the spike hitbox down left yeah. was if unusual. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that is when you are kind of, like, at, on top of the cloud. If you're, like, just a little bit on top of the cloud. If you're more inside it, that's when it drags you down and combos into itself. But uh, not totally sure. So if I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, as far as I Ooh, know. Ooh, down tilt, down air, double dip. That could have been what H4 needed. Like, you can't be double dipping like that. That's just impolite. I know. A good recovery from Justice to make it back from there. Oh, my goodness. This is the typical H4 shenanigans Ooh. that I chase. know him for. Just going extremely deep. Really wanting to just, you know, close out the stock outright. But he is on that last stock. He can't afford to be hit anymore. He is a light character. Dealing with a whole other stock after this one. And when you don't have your jump against Min, Min off stage, it is dangerous. Doesn't matter how good your recovery is. You need that jump to mix up the timing. Ah, uh, Justice just at a buffet right now, just eating while you're at the ledge. Okay. Give me another plate. That up special is your friend, H4. Oh, oh he not leaving you astray. the thunder. He says, not this time, buddy. I don't I don't think T Joel is doing too much. What That's on up earth? Smash trade. All right, Justice with a little bit of a pop-off. So uh, I, I guess I in parried, that parried fair into up smash and it traded. I wow. Think, I think. Like, I, I think he fell out of it and then he went for the up smash because I felt like he was in the air once he got hit, but maybe I'm mistaken with how that works. It was such a bang-bang play. I mean, that's easy to get uh, mixed up on. I'm not totally sure. I think it was just a parry of the first hit of fair. Uh, into up smash and up smash traded with like the next hit affair or something like that. Like that, that, that's my guess. <laughs> I, I'm still flabbergasted from that. That was crazy. Yeah, I'll, I'll say Justice played out of his mind. Um, he played really hot. I, I'm not sure. I mean, the pop off kind of tells me that he probably doesn't have a winning set count versus H4. Like he's probably really pumped to get that win because, like I said, that is something I hear is a very challenging matchup for Min Min. So. Good stuff to Justice. Man. But, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a surprise there, at least to me. Maybe not to all the uh, all the Washington people. But for me, that was a little bit of a surprise. Um, I feel like Justice has been really looking to get more of these bigger wins. As I said, he got one of his, like, big wins uh, at Daddy's Den a bit, bit ago. Um well, it looks like, uh, well, it has been a pleasure, as always, to cast with you, Draymond. And hopefully we'll be able to do it again sometime. Absolutely. Um, but you do have a long drive home, and I yeah. don't want to keep you here. Hey, and not a better guy to tag me out than, than the homie Dream Boys. So, yeah, by the way, I'm just going to plug myself real quick. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Janice Draymond. Uh, follow me on Twitch at Draymond Streams. Do Elite Smash and viewer games all the time. Uh, like all out. the time. Like, yeah. uh, I'll even tune in every once in a while. Yeah. Shout out to Sayo. Um, appreciate you guys having me. Shout out to Everest. Keep it chill. Dope things. Uh, hope Top 8 is uh, some good games for you guys. Uh, we just trading out old guys. Yeah. We got old guy one for old guy two. Old guys? Draymond's older than me. He's older than everyone here. He's older than everyone. Probably uh, combined. Most of the people. <laughs> All right, so we Mind just saw. He looks young, though. He does look. He young. does look yeah, young. Yeah. Oh yeah, he looks great for his age. Are you kidding me? Yeah. For sixty-three. Yeah, he looks great. <laughs> so we just saw Justice versus uh, H4. H4. Yeah. yeah. A little pop off from Justice. He's looking good. A little pop off. It, it, was, it was a bit of a. Listen, pop there have been bigger pop offs today. That's oh, all oh, I'm saying. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I was on the recording setup today. when. Uh, I think it's just Dream Boys. Bad Dream Boys. I dream boys. Yeah, right, sure. I can pull it up. Hold up. I think so. I think there are two Zs actually. You're right. Yeah, I'll, I'll double check. Okay, you. thank you. you. Nasa. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I, I had to switch it. I switched it from SSB, and uh, Dream Boys was already taken actually. 
Dream Boys with two Zs. Yeah. Yep, there it is. <laughs> do you have a bracket? Uh, I do. Okay. I will pull that back up for us. Give a little bit of an update. Oh, nice. So we got a little bit of an Oregon versus Washington matchup coming up. These are both kind of zony characters. Uh, lots of disjoints. Lots of hitboxes. This might be a slow one. Yeah, but for a quick update on loser side, as we haven't really seen that on stream, we have Slushy moving okay. on to play against Active. Um, Active oh, nice. oh, knocking out Despa after a really good run. Okay. Xavier beating Lightning Quiz 2 0. Yeah, Lightning, Lightning Quiz. Quiz was going on a run today, too. Yeah, Lightning yeah. Quiz was doing extremely well. Uh, ended up upsetting both uh, Embo, Z, and mm. Viola. Yeah, definitely. Good stuff from him. Those are hard matchups, too, yeah. for Cloud. So Xavier will be playing against Jojo de Hobo. And then we have, okay. yeah. But back to the set here, Washington versus Oregon. Uh, yeah, definitely. Actually, that's pretty much the whole top eight at this point. It's yeah. a lot of Oregon versus Washington. Love to see it, love the rivalry. Uh, let's go Oregon. <laughs> but what one point in time, Oregon wasn't able to, you know, do this sort of thing. Yeah, we, we totally. kinda, we're kind of on the up and up. Yeah, totally. It's good to see that we can actually keep it competitive. Mm -hmm. There definitely was a period yeah. of time where it felt like Washington washed us constantly. Yeah. Like, there was like, we got active and like, Jared, it was, and that's it was even it. the same case with.